this video I wanted to bring you kind of an old school ASMR video with a, a monthly favourites and a little ramble with some triggers. Why not? So my first thing that I've been loving this month is beeswax wraps <laughs> and I know that sounds kind of funny but I really like these things I think they're a really good idea and I feel much better for using them over like plastic wrap and those um, like things that can't be recycled a bit better about it, you know. So these ones have a honeycomb pattern <laughs> with little bees. I'll get one out to show you. And in the packet they're quite it's solid. But you heat them up with the warmth of your hands. For a few minutes and then you can easily mold them. To whatever shape of whatever it is that you're covering. some nice scents. Of course. Good taps. Just, um, I've been enjoying using them and I've put off buying some for a while because I thought that they would be uh, like a real pain to clean but they're really not <laughs> they're super easy two at the moment, the small one and the medium one, which is why the large one is still untouched, unfolded, hasn't been unfolded yet. So 
such a cool idea. And good for the environment. What could be better? The little bees. <laughs> and the honeycombs. Some crinkle signs. A few little crinkles. But yeah, I don't know how long they will last. But these were very expensive. I'm very impressed with them so far. I'm happy. packet as well. If you would like to tie, tie it up. But I haven't needed that so far. I thought it was a cute little touch though. The next favourite of mine from this month is in this very large bag. very kindly gifted to me from Teddy Blake it arrived in a very large box really cool dust bag. I always think that that's such a good idea to have a little dust bag to protect it. So let's open it up and have a look. And on the back, oh, this beautiful, beautiful color. I got the Bella. Palamelato. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm really sorry if that's not correct. But it's in the shade Bordeaux. And I just love the colour. I love this burgundy burgundy shade and the detail the logo in gold and the zips are also in gold and all of 
Teddy Blake's designer handbags are made from premium quality leather using the same materials in all luxury brands made by Italian designers and there are many style choices each Teddy Blake handbag has such an attention to detail it has suede lining in a similar shade and you can see the quality of the stitching it's really nice There are gold accents and a longer strap if you wish to connect. Instead of holding the bag in your hand, this can also be adjusted slightly too. here, you can adjust the length and again the attention to detail with a tiny, tiny logo on the little clasp I love that I've used this so far to visit my friends had a nice day in the city and also as an overnight bag it's plenty big enough for that So pretty. I'm really happy with it. Thank you again to Teddy Blake for for gifting this to me. I'm sure I will get lots of use out of it. And I can't wait to use it in the autumn coming up very soon, next month not long now recently I've been putting together a gallery wall for in my living room that I've been meaning to do for ages now but I have only just started to put it together but I've been looking around um, different like thrift stores, antique stores for all different shapes, um, colours, styles of photo frames anything and everything really so it's like a really different mix all over the wall I love that look so I've been searching all these different shops and I found a few unusual items along the way as well as the picture frames, empty picture frames that I went in for um, I found this for 50p as you can see on the back <laughs> 50p which is, I don't know how much 
75 cents maybe in dollars what is this beautiful little oil painting you can see the oil little painting of some flowers in a vase on each stroke and I think I'm not sure what the artist's name is I can't read it that well but I think it says M-I-R-I-A Miria Maybe. <laughs> but I just thought that that was so, so cute. And I couldn't leave that for 50p. <laughs> um, but that would look so good among all the other um, photos and artworks that I will be putting on the wall because I already have a lot of um, my pressed flowers that I that I do I put them into like, clear frames so they will be on the wall as well and collages of different plants and flowers too so it will fit right in along with the next one again while on the lookout for um, different shapes of frames In this very rectangular one. <laughs> but look what's inside. <gasps> look how pretty. These embroidered flowers. It's so pretty. Just look at the detail here. The different colours. There's like three different pinks. Yeah, three different pinks. This light pink. A baby pink and a more corally colour as well. And then the the pollen in the center. I don't know what um what the different techniques are called. With the stitches. I know each one has a different um, a different name but I don't know much about embroidery. I wish I did. I feel
feel like it's something that I would really enjoy if I got into it but I haven't just yet, maybe one day I do have a few um, little embroidery sets and patterns so maybe soon I'll give it a go but again this was this was one pound <laughs> so like a dollar twenty-five maybe thereabouts a dollar fifteen But I just couldn't leave this one either It's gonna look so good on the wall Among all the flowers and the plants <laughs> Chuffed Very chuffed with those I just love what you can find In thrift stores you really never know, never ever know what you're going to find in there and another one from the same store as the last one on the same day I also found this nice frame but inside <laughs> is this really cute painting of a kitty <sighs> and it's I love the way that it's got this um, what's the word the framing on the inside but it's painted on the inside and on this like cream coloured framing <laughs> and the name is Oliver it seems Like I say, I went in to find the frames, not really looking for artwork, but I think, I think Oliver can stay. What do you think? He's very sweet, right? I really like it. I don't know who Oliver is. Whose cat he was. But I really like this. <laughs> I wonder if it was the artist's cat or if they painted it for someone else. I think the artist is S. Mason. Beautiful painting by S. Mason <laughs> It looks like watercolour Beautiful detail In the flowers too <laughs> but Yeah, I love that you can find original paintings by such such talented artists <laughs> I don't know whose whose cat Oliver was like I say but I hope he feels at home here <laughs> 
and I will look after him. So cute. Look at that grumpy face. And the little whiskers. Very sweet. I wish that there was an artist's name on on this one, but let me see if it says on the back if I open it up. There's no name on this. No name on this one, unfortunately. But whoever the artist is, is very talented. This must have taken a long time with all, all of those stitches. I like the gold on the inside of the frame too. I think that's a really nice touch. I hope you've enjoyed listening to me ramble. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your week. See you very soon.